Dude, this thing looks like a piece of trash. Go try this at home. We're in it. Does that make you excited? There's a lot of people that quit the Pan American Highway due to the hot heat. We're here in Mexico melting our faces off, but we ain't no quitters. Today, we're making the most gangster ghetto air conditioner out of a cooler that you've ever seen. And even if it doesn't work, we're gonna keep pushing forward. Because when you're barely squeaking by, that's what you do. It's spicy. After stuffing our faces with Doritos, we hit up the local Home Depot. Now it looked like it was the same. It had the orange letters, but... This Home Depot has about 40% of a normal Home Depot in the US, so we're really having to get creative because they don't just have all the parts that you're looking for. What is that? That's a pot. It was about a third of what I'm used to seeing in the, in the US with home improvement stores. So they had some things, but they didn't have everything. That's something, what is that? So they are in the US too. A foaming cooler? Yeah. Is it 120 bucks? I, these days, babe, it's 2024. It's Everything's 100 bucks. No matter where you go. It's called oh. non all oh, gross. That's a use and return. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna work. It might be a big fail though. Barely squeaking by. Barely squeaking by. Jay gathered up all the parts we need for this life-changing project that we're about to do right here on camera. And I love saying right here on camera because I still think it's so bizarre that we have a YouTube channel. What were we thinking? I have no idea. This is so weird. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Anyways. Anyways. Back to the show. <laughs> we found a spot on iOverlander about an hour north of Puerto Vallarta in a farming community known as Bahia de Banderas. We rolled into the place and everything looked decent. What are we going for today? No idea. Pretty drive in. Yeah. Look at that big alarm. The place has a few full timers, as you can see, and everyone here has dogs. The owner has three, actually. The biggest, baddest one is known as Capitan, and the rumor has it is that he's not so friendly to strangers. So the owners wanted to introduce us to the dogs so that they could give us a good sniff over so we didn't get bit. All they said was, if you get up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, don't run. And you tell him, Capitan, it's me. <laughs> it's me, Capitan, it's me. And then he's okay. <laughs> That's code word for him. Hey. Hi, dear. Where's Capitan? Oh, Capitan, it's me. It's me. <laughs> Never run when a dog chases you. Especially that kind of dog. Yeah. Yeah. The smallest one, his name's Hulk. That's kind of funny, because <laughs> he's tiny. Hey. And apparently he runs the show around here. The property's full of a bunch of fancy fruit trees. They got citrus trees, moringa, neem trees, and a few others that I'm not familiar with. But best of all, they got a pool. Yeah, pool. The heat is so intense here that you have to do something or you won't make it. So let's get to making that cooler. Eating some yogurt so I don't get hangry with Jay while he's making this cooler. Look at those mountains over there. Pretty cool. Today we're taking advantage of having this shade structure, Palapa, to work underneath so that we're not having to work out in direct sunlight. Feels good. Slight breeze. Let's do this. All right. Go try this at home. We have the big aluminum flex duct. Good thing it says it on there because I wouldn't know otherwise what these things are. We got a medium size. Those are actually the same. Oh, one's just open. Okay. And we've got an elbow and an inline blower fan that we had delivered in the mail. 
plus the cooler. Jay's gonna hand do this because I told him only a man will like put his power tools down and go for it the most ghetto way that you can, which is, he's just gonna cut it with a knife. Why are you so close? So are you saying that you're not a man if you don't do things with hand tools? Yep, I, I miss the old days where men had to, you know, use the old school, you know, the hand saw. You know, that's, that's a manly man right there. So, Jay is gonna be a manly man today. Just today, I guess. <laughs> Just. All the other days, it's unknown, I guess, apparently, <laughs> according to her. You got nothing to say first? You gonna tell him what you're gonna do? I'm drilling What's a hole. What's the plan? I'm drilling a hole, cutting out a hole. Is anything in there? I don't know, yeah. Okay, there's that. Hope I don't regret this. Don't mind the mess. Yeah, I don't like this saw. Oh. Whoa, what'd that just do? It broke the razor blade. Oh no. Are we failing already? Maybe. I'd really be failing if I cut myself. I mean, yeah, that's a half fail. Try it again. Feeling like a man? So much. This is the manliest I've ever felt. Oh, oh. failing. Oh, no. Can't you just use that drill and go in a circle? Yeah, I could. Okay, so Jay decided to not use this thing. It was a fail. I was so excited to see it to use, but uh, He's using a... Utility knife? He's using a utility knife instead. How's it going? Fine. What are you doing exactly? Cutting this circle. You wanna try it? No. This is where the elbow's gonna poke through the top. This the is a breather hole? Mm, this is where the air blows through into the tubes. And then the air gets cold going through the tubes, comes out the other side, it's supposed to be cold. But so we'll we see. It's coming through this elbow right here, yeah? That, elbow. yep, through the elbow. It's gonna go there. Yep. The other last thing that we did not show that we needed for this project to be completed is a bag of ice. Yeah. <laughs> if we can find some. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Yellow? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, I gotta spin around. Can I get you anything? Water, Gatorade. Cold beer would be nice. We don't have that. Oh. See, look, I'm using your tool. See, look, I'm using the tool. With every story that I heard of the burning. Does that make you excited? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. The most I thought excited. it was going to be more intense though. This is kind of... This is anticlimactic. Yeah, it's a little bit drawn out slow-mo. I don't know how we're going to make this look good. Who's going to want to watch this? Probably no one. Trying to appreciate Wow, look at all that insulation. That's kind of cool. Hey, look, I did it cool. right. Huh. Oh, cool. There. Nice. Look at that. Look, I did it right. I didn't even mess it up and I did it the manly way, by hand, no power tools. Are you impressed? Very, I'm impressed. Try to force it in there. Hammer jammer it in. Probably do. So, uh, what happens if it doesn't work? Well, if it doesn't work, then we're just gonna have a great spot to store cold drinks. And that's why I'm cutting the holes up high. 
This is the hole that goes in, and then there will be a hole over here that comes out, but it's gonna be up high in this area so that we can still put ice and it'll still hold water and we can still use it to make drinks cold if this is a total fail. Nice. So that's the backup plan B. Not is, all is lost. Yeah. Try to cut this a little bit tighter. And we're still out here. It's been about four hours now. Just kidding. <laughs> four hours. It's been like 10 minutes. That's life of an impatient person. Who are you? 10 minutes feels like four hours. Yeah, me. We all know I'm the impatient one here. I don't know who it is, but it's not me. Big guy rolling by. Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way. I was working on the ground, come a sun up to sun time. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving me. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk star. Well, work the three jobs, living out of a car. Mama never told me life would get this hard. Okay, I guess I need. Man, I could go for ice cream right now. The boredom's setting in. Couldn't you? No. Oh. I could go for a ice cold beverage. I get you one if we had ice. We don't have ice yet. You don't have the beverage I'd want. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me, I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, a honky tonk star. All right, we're on the home stretch here. Just punched the two pilot holes through so that I can cut out two more circles, then wire up the fan, put the plug on it, and then wire up the plug to the power system, go get ice, we're done. Easy. Well, done is when we try to see if it works. Look at that. They're so pretty. Cool. Wow, that's pretty. Dude, this thing looks like a piece of trash. <laughs> what are we doing? Dumpster fire. Dumpster fire. Full on. Fully engulfed. <laughs> There's no way to film this in an exciting way. It just looks not exciting. No, it's just. <laughs> this is just a oh. total. Oh, well, can't say that on film. All right, well, Jay's finishing up on the finishing touches on this thing. Head into the comments and let us know if you think this getaway C is gonna work or not. Or let us know if we just ruined a perfectly good cooler by yeah. putting two big old holes in it. Yeah, we're taking bets right now. My bet is it's, it's gonna work. Jay's had his reservations. He, he's on the fence. He thinks it's not really gonna cool us down. He thinks it's just gonna like not really blow any cold air, but I'm, I'm gonna go positive this time, which is rare for me. I'm usually the negative person. And I'm usually the positive person. Man, let me paint the picture of how hot it actually is here. I've been hanging out with an ice pack over my face during the day. And when we try to make these videos, the seats and, and the bed just gets soaked. The people are drinking electrolytes just to survive here. It's, it's like- It's a whole thing. It's called Swero. Swero, I think that's right. I might be messing that up a little bit. But it's like Pedialyte for adults. And it's everywhere. Every store you go in, there's 15 different flavors of it. Yeah, it's supposed to be better for you than Gatorade. All the trash cans are full of the plastic Swero Pedialyte Gatorade sports drinks. And water bottles. Yes, because you just cannot get away from this intense heat. This van is a lot like a slow cooker. Even when we walk around, 
the locals are complaining about the heat. You hear people walking around and they're saying, ay calor, which means like, oh, it's so hot. And everyone here is praying for rain. And we're praying on a ghetto plastic cooler to save the day. <laughs> is this or quit? What are we doing? Looks pretty good to me. Huh. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. We ain't quitting. As we mentioned in the beginning of this video, a lot of people we've seen quit the Pan American Highway. They literally go home, whether they're somewhere in Central America because of the intense humidity. And I, you can, almost can't blame them. Once you're here doing it, I probably when you're watching one of those channels, you're like, oh, I can't believe they quit. But I definitely understand it because that's, that's how you feel when you're in it. You're like, oh, maybe we should, maybe we should stop. Maybe we should take a break from it, come back when the weather's better, but. It's always, it's always in Central America where people, mm -hmm. they lose their motivation. Um, they lose the momentum because it's so damn hot here. Um, once you get to South America, it's way different. But unfortunately people, they can't make it through Central America mm -hmm. because of the heat. Yeah, a lot of them have pets too. So that becomes yeah. an issue because the pets cannot live in this. They can't handle it. We're them. just, for us, this is, this is a suffer fest. It's really a suffer fest. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. <laughs> so we're just trying to build strength here. <laughs> trying to build the strength. Yeah. A lot of that though is timing. And I think <laughs> we timed it all wrong because we're here and it's the worst time. Yeah, but I still think no matter when you time the whole Pan American Highway trip and if you're going to do it all the way through and not take breaks, you're going to hit weather somewhere. Hopefully this will set us up for better temps in the rest of the trip and hopefully we're not now going to be in intense cold when we get to South America. I don't know. We This just might be just all wrong. The downhill yeah. slope from here. If there's one thing I know about this girl, she doesn't like it too hot and she doesn't like it too cold. <laughs> Her ideal temp would be like a nice 70, 68 to 70. That's her window, low humidity. I think anybody would want that, but I still do it. I still, She's here. I still put up the fight She's, and I'm not gonna stop. She's not gonna give up. She's still here dripping sweat. We'll toughen her up. Rocking out these videos. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's go swimming. Yeah, let's go swimming. Let's do it. I got the wrong butt connectors. I got the wrong wire crimpers. But we're just gonna make it work because that's all we got. And that's how you do it in Mexico, is you work with what you got, apparently. Hell, I come 40,000 miles over here to see what them pretty little lips gonna do to me, baby. All right, we made it to the pool, finally. We're in it. It feels good, but the water's really warm. Yeah, the water's warm. Yeah. A couple refrigerators. That's where we created picnic tables. Sorry, there's bugs all yeah, over me. okay. I'm gonna like, we're gonna redo it. We're gonna restart it. No, this ain't my first rodeo. I've been around long enough to know. They have a banana with the outdoor kitchen set up. And I've got red ants all over me. They're not red ants. They're not red ants. Okay. Then why is their body red? I don't know. All right. And where we were earlier, here. why are they all over me? I don't know. What are you touching that they're on you? I don't know. I don't know. Are, are you like jumping or what? I don't think so. I don't know. We're having some issues here. We got, we got ant problems. We've got an ant issue. There's an ant highway right underneath <laughs> you. <laughs> and they can jump actually because they're jumping onto me. <laughs> No, this ain't my first rodeo. I've been around the place we're staying at is a private property. And it costs us about 100 pesos per person per night. They have power, but we don't need that. 
So I think we got a little bit cheaper rate. But they got an outdoor shower, outdoor restrooms, and this nice pool that you see us lounging in. Where you saw us earlier today was over in the cabana area where they have a full on outdoor kitchen with refrigerators, sink, and all the different cooking utensils you could ever think of. And they're really nice. Yeah, they're super nice. Super, a super nice couple with Super nice, kids. yeah. Well, this one tastes different. There's all different. There's some things you can't take away. Some things you just got to let go. You just got to worry about Papi Khan. Yeah. Papi Khan, it's me. Once you meet the dog, everything's good. <laughs> That's so funny. So, we gotta go get some ice. Cream. Oh yeah, ice cream too. <laughs> we got one bag, this is our test run to see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I just found out. Some got in there. Perfect. I good job. Saw. You got it. You're doing good. It went in the tube though. It's fine. We're already having issues, Here, guys. Hold on. Oh, it's all right. You're doing good, don't okay. worry. We're going. This is that part where they're like, she just had one job. She just had one job to do. I'm failing already. Okay, low pour. Low, low pour, low flow. Let's see what happens here. Thank you for the love and support. We can't thank you enough. These videos wouldn't be possible without you all. That's true. Fingers are still crossed that that AC is going to work. I wonder what everybody voted. I know. Is my it working is. or not working? It's going to half work. Half work? Yeah. If it doesn't work though, we could do like an ice bath with it. You're small enough, you could fit in there. No, I have maybe an arm. You could fit your butt in there. <laughs> no. We could, we could ice down our feet. Oh man, something's gotta happen. It'll half work. It's gonna half work as a cooler for keeping drinks cold, and then it's gonna half work as a jerry-rigged air conditioner. <laughs> we spent 75 bucks on all the parts, and by the time the trip's over, we'll have spent $2,000 on ice. It's worth it though, because we're, we're getting spent out here. We are. It's been a lot. It really takes a lot out of you. It makes you kind of go at each other a little more. It's hard to sleep at night. Uh, we're putting a lot of faith in this thing. See, the highway isn't here. Look at it. Okay. I gotta pee. I'm just kidding. I, oh, wait. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Never mind. I don't know. Okay. You got ants on me. You got this. They're not they're not red ants, so. Yes, they are. I don't like it. Ghetto air conditioner out of an ice chest. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay. You think there's something? I do. Well Jay's finishing the finishing touches on this. Is that just finishing sound right? the finishing touches? Yeah, okay. Well Jay's wrapping up the finishing okay. touches. So if you were in the States. So you have, a, you have a hair just right there. I got hair all over me. Your, no, it's an eyelash. Yeah, I know. If it's okay. not your hair, it's mine. The property's full of fancy fruit trees with a bunch of edibles. No, I'm not no. saying that. <laughs> nah. 
Not saying that. Oh, man. We got biggest to smallest for I don't know what. We've got a medium sized one, again, for I don't know what. Yeah. Did we just waste a whole day? A whole day, a little bit of money, and a perfectly good cooler.